Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jitendra and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is the first video in Java series, so Java for Selenium. So we are going to start uh, learning Java from today onwards. And uh, this is the agenda for today. So we'll talk about uh, Java and uh, different usage of Java. And uh, there is a question, uh, how much Java needed for Selenium? And why we use, why we are going to use Java for Selenium? and we'll look into a java simple java program and these two topics uh, we are going to discuss in coming uh, videos uh, uh, those topics so let me start so java uh, so java is most powerful uh, programming language uh, and easy to use and it's uh, widely used um, and uh, uh, java first time developed in 1995 by sun microsystem and later uh, the company is acquired by Oracle and Java is object oriented programming language Java is uh, platform independent uh, so we can write once and uh, we can run anywhere so in one platform we can write Java program and we can run it in any different platform so there are different uh, usage of Java so uh, Java is used to develop uh, desktop applications uh, and Java is used to develop various uh, web applications as well. Uh, we can Java is used to develop enterprise applications as well, like uh, banking application, insurance, uh, capital markets. So different products we can. Uh, I mean, Java used to develop. Uh, Java used to develop uh, mobile applications as well, uh, an embedded system. And there are different uh, gaming softwares uh, built on Java. So these are the different usage of Java. So it's a it's a multi-purpose uh, uh, programming language. And the question comes like, uh, how much Java needed for Selenium? So for to learn Selenium, we need uh, Core Java. Core Java is mandatory to learn Selenium, and uh, Advanced Java is not required. And uh, the fundamentals should be uh, very much clear, and uh, we should know the OOPS concept uh, very well. So these are the requirement to learn uh, Selenium, and uh, and why we use Java. So another question is, yeah, why we use Java? So Java is uh, most powerful language, and uh, if you see, 80 percent of the companies uh, companies are using uh, Java, Java with Selenium, uh, Selenium with Java, and. Uh, uh, because uh, the documentation and uh, support uh, are easily available uh, in Java. So that's the reason we are using Java. So let me, uh, we'll talk about these two points later on uh, once we uh, go over this point. So let me go over uh, Java program structure. So let me create one Java project. First Java project click on finish so here uh, src folder is created so since I, I have created only java project so no need of uh, i'm not going to run any selenium scripts over here so that's the reason i'm not going to uh, uh, configure uh, jar files uh, selenium java jar files so not required so let me create uh, so this is default package so let me delete it so let me create a package new java package i'll give the name java package click on finish so package is created so let me create one class here first Java program so here my Java uh, Java class is created and there are different sections uh, in Java program so this is uh, the first section is uh, comment section or documentation section so docu main section 
this is one line comment you can give or you can give a multi line com multi line comment as well like this first java program so here you can give uh, author name as well author name you can give if you want you can give date and other stuff also so this is the first section and uh, this is the second one package so package is a keyword and this is my package which i have created java package so this is the second uh, uh, section package declaration third would be our import statement section so let me import some statement over here import uh, java java dot io dot lang or java dot io dot console yeah and let me import another another statement java dot io java dot lang inside lang package yeah so guys uh, this is just for uh, a reference I, I would like to show the the next session section so that's the reason i have imported some uh, statements so these are unused so that's the reason uh, it is showing in yellow color so import is a keyword and uh, we have java java is a project java is the project name and uh, i use the package name and here console is the class and for the second statement import is a keyword java is the project lang is the package and star means uh, so star means whatever class inside this package will be uh, imported here so these are the import section import section and uh, fourth fourth would be your uh, uh, interface and class declaration interface third section is interface and class declaration so here I have uh, my class and uh, public is a keyword access modifier we'll talk about it uh, class is a keyword so declare a class we need a class keyword so class 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 and class name so first Java program is my class name and this piece of code should be enclosed with uh, curly braces and another section let me create a main method here static void main string ox yeah so this is uh, main method method version sorry this is fourth fourth section this is fifth section in java program let me write some print statement here s s y so this is the shortcut control space bar here i'll write some comment first java 
program yeah so this is done and here public is a keyword uh, and uh, access modifier and which represents the visibility so public means uh, this is access to all is static is a keyword so if it if you declare any method is static so no need to create the object of uh, this main method so that's why we have uh, i mean this is system defined so it is declared declared as static because main method is executed uh, by jvm and void is a keyword and uh, it's return type so it it means nothing return it doesn't return anything and main is my method name and it has a string args parameter so this is related to command line argument uh, we will we'll discuss about this uh, later on so every java program will be executed uh, by the main method so so my simple program is done i have written very very basic program so let me talk about this uh, recap this section part so this is documentation section is the first section java package package declaration is the second one uh, import statements is the third section interface and class declaration is the uh, fourth one and method declaration is the fifth section so these are the basic and most important section in java program so let me run it yeah so here the result first java program so th this is very basic program and uh, so how do we know that uh, our program is executed from main method so let me create another method let me give parameter int a so guys there is a rule uh, for method overloading so i have same method name and here i have uh, uh, differentiate the parameter name so earlier i was having the same parameter so that's why it, it was giving an error so right now this is the rule of method overloading so we'll discuss method overloading method overriding in detail later on so let me run it again so i'll give main method so let me run it again so here we go so we have main method here so main method executed first and this is not executed why because uh, we have not called this method this is this act as a normal method so we need to call call it to invoke this method so here uh, one question also comes in mind that uh, i mean many people asking that can main method be overloaded so answer is yes so this is overloaded method only so here overloaded means we have we should have the same uh, method name twice i mean uh, this method name have i'm having here as well so it has different parameters but the method name is same uh, so regarding the overload uh, overloading and overriding we'll discuss later on so just uh, uh, I, I would like to uh, talk about uh, method overloading all uh, loading also because this is very important question many people uh, asking in interview so yeah so let me call this method as well so since it is static so we can call directly from yeah we can call from main method so class name dot method name sorry what happened okay so let me give some yeah let me run it again yeah so both the method got executed so this is all about uh, first uh, simple program java program and let me go back to the ppt so yeah so let me talk about these two things so guys we are going to cover uh, 
these many topics in coming videos like data types variables uh, operators in java uh, flow control statement like if else and switch case uh, we'll talk about loop statements for while do while and enhanced full for loop which is very important uh, we are we are going to use uh, enhanced for loop a lot in selenium projects and string and arrays and there are different uh, you know uh, manipulations using string and arrays and different uh, uh, operations using string and arrays we'll talk about them and java methods uh, system defined and user defined regular expressions and and we'll talk about oops concept oops concept are very very important uh, to learn selenium and uh, We'll talk about inheritance, polymorphism, abstractions, and encapsulations. Uh, these are the OOP concept and uh, interface, abstract class, constructor, difference between interface versus abstract class. We'll talk about packages, file handling, exception handling. This is very important. Exception handling is very, very much important. And different keywords like static, these. Uh, garbage collection as well so we'll talk about them and some other stuff like collection framework is very very much important uh, in java framework we are going to use a uh, collection framework a lot so we'll discuss about them uh, multi-threading is not that much important but we should uh, understand that why what is multi-threading so we'll discuss about this and uh, there are different questions, interview questions and answers. Uh, we'll discuss about uh, them like reverse a string in Java, uh, how to split a string in Java, generate random number in Java. So these are few questions only. So I have a different question in my mind. So we'll discuss about them. Uh, and probably I may have missed uh, some of the topics. So I'll try to remember those topics and I'll cover uh, uh, them in coming, coming videos accordingly. So I think I'm done for today. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, bye bye.